welcome student friend we are discussing a ms second organic chemistry so, structure determination of organic compound by spectroscopic method this is our third lecture we discussing about the recapitulations today we discuss about an infrared spectroscopy i think all of you are familiar too much about the ir spectroscopy this friends spectroscopy actually is a seeing the unseeable those we cannot see we have to see by using an spectroscopy it just a electromagnetic radiation we are going to strike over a molecule or an atom which are very too small to see and we are going to investigate about the changes thus electromagnetic radiation is uh, propagated at the speed of the light through a vacuum as an oscillating waves we have learned that the spectroscopy is divided into the main two class that is absorption and emission spectroscopy we are discussing the absorption completed the uv spectroscopy and today we go for the ir spectroscopy in the emissions there are fluorometry flame photometry are there but we focus over the absorption spectroscopy friends when you start the ir spectroscopy then the first question will be came in the mind that is ir spectroscopy region what is the where is the ir spectroscopy region in the electromagnetic spectrum that is if you look a light which is having a longer wavelength or we say lower frequency than a visible light second thing we are learn a interactions of infrared light with any molecules and the analysis is called as a infrared spectroscopy it is based on absorption spectroscopy if you look this uh, electromagnetic spectrum we observe that this is your visible region and from this visible region you go to the lower frequency or we say longer wavelength okay there is a frequency which is given in hertz and then we will get a your infrared regions now why we discuss infrared from the uv visible you get the information about a chromophore present in a molecule and now we have to discuss what type of information we got from the ir spectroscopy when if you look the entire spectrum of the electromagnetic uh, regions here is a visible region and the perfectly to the lower frequency that is the ir is there everyone is familiar about the frequency wavelength and a energy the electromagnetic spectrum is obtained due to a 
different regions these are given for this each type of spectroscopic technique now we have to look the specifically ir regions when you look the ir region which is observed from 0.8 micron to the 200 micrometer if you comment in a wave number then we say it is from 12500 centimeter inverse to the 50 centimeter inverse this ir region is further divided into the three regions the first one is a near ir which is having a wavelength 0.8 to 2.5 micrometer and wave number from 12500 to 4000 centimeter inverse the second is a your ir we call as a main ir which is having 2.5 to 16 micrometer wavelength and 4000 to 625 centimeter inverse as a wave number and the third region is given as a far ir having wavelength 16 to 200 micrometer and uh, the wave number is 625 to 50 centimeter inverse according to that we say the from 50 centimeter inverse to 12500 centimeter inverse wave number the ir region is found or we say from 0 0.8 micron to the 200 micro meters the ir region will be found as we look the main ir regions the main ir region is going to divide again into the three different regions the first we have an functional group region ranging from 2.5 to 7.7 .7 micrometer that is 4000 to 1300 centimeter inverse this is a common functional group region which shows absorption band in this region so it is known as a functional group region and actually this region functional group region is obtained by a stretching vibrations of a functional group in a molecule the same functional group like uh, OH, NH, or CH, or SH, that is alcohol, amines, alkane, alkyne, that is the terminal CH, thiols, the aromatic uh, compounds, double bond, triple bond, they are present in that region from 1300 to 4000 cm inverse. The second region is a fingerprint region which is ranging from 7.7 .7 to 11 micrometer that is 1300 centimeter inverse to 909 centimeter inverse. Actually it is very complex and uh, characteristics for a specific molecule the band will be appear in these regions are specifically due to bonding and skeleton vibrations of a carbon carbon or carbon oxygen or carbon nitrogen bonds in a molecule that's that is we say that it is very useful for a simple comparison and another one this fingerprint regions will be uh, done uh, when we have the two identical samples and we are going to compare them that is uh, simply we say in enzymes type of compound we are going to compare by using the fingerprint regions and the third region is a aromatic region ranging from 11 to 16 micrometers that is 909 to 625 centimeter inverse and here is the band which are going to occur in this region are due to the bonding vibrations.
present in a CH bond of a aromatic compound. That means functional group will be due to the stretching vibrations. Then fingerprint region is due to the bonding and skeletal vibrations and aromatic region is due to the your bonding vibrations. This is the simple classification of main IR into the three different regions. Then we look the theory of infrared absorption spectroscopy. For a molecules which is going to absorb an IR, then the vibrations as well as rotations present in the molecules are going to cause a net charge in a dipole moment of a molecule. The alternating electric field of the radiations, if you have to remember that the electromagnetic radiation consisting of an oscillating electric field and an oscillating magnetic field which is perpendicular to the each others and this uh, electric field of the radiations which is going to interact with fluctuations in the dipole moment of the molecules okay that is due to the presence of the vibration or the rotations the dipole moment is going to change and we are going to uh, record the change in the dipole moment that is the frequency of the radiation which is going to matches the vibrational frequency of the molecule then radiation will be absorbed and cause a change in the amplitude of the molecular vibrations this is the basic theory behind the your ir now we look at the principle how the principle is there when you take a infrared and strike over a any molecules and when the molecules will be going to absorb the energy which is uh, called as the IR radiations and uh, show the different type of molecular vibrations. These are the different vibrations which will be observed when we strike the radiation to the molecule. This is a simple principle and these vibrations are give the change in the dipole moment of an molecules for that we must have to know about a simple selection rule we call as the active and forbidden vibrations a infrared light is going to absorb when there is a change in the dipole moment and this character is taken in this ir second thing molecule ha have a center of symmetry then the vibration are centrosymmetric. What I say? If a molecule is a symmetric, center of symmetry, and uh, the mol then the vibrations are centrosymmetric, and it is inactive in a IR. It is inactive in a IR. This is the main thing. But active in Raman. Okay, that's it. Because as center has center of symmetry. The dynamic moment is zero, and if molecule does not possess type of moment, then it is inactive molecule. It does not active in a IR, and the vibrations are not centrosymmetric. Then it is IR active, but such molecules are inactive in Raman. Then we have to look. Everyone is aware about the center of symmetry. What is the center of symmetry? Mostly we look the molecular vibrations. These molecular vibrations are mostly divided into the two types that is fundamental vibration and non-fundamental vibration. The fundamental vibrations again divide into the two types stretching vibrations and bending vibrations. The stretching vibrations are having symmetric and asymmetric type while the bending vibrations are having in the plane bending or out of the plane bending will be there and in the plane we have two types that is scissoring and rocking and out of plane again we have two types that is wagging and twisting 
and uh, in non fundamental vibrations are the ohr tones combination tones or fermi resonance okay these are the different molecular vibration classification and we are going to discuss one by one actually what is mean by molecular vibration uh, what is the vibration in the molecule in this simple way we are going to say a any change in the shape of the molecule by the stretching of bonds or bonding uh, uh, the bind we are going to done in the bonds or there may be a internal rotations will be uh, found when they have the single bonds such type of change within a shape anything due to stretching due to bending and due to rotation the molecule cause a vibration second thing uh, why we study the molecular vibrations because uh, if you look the interactions between the electromagnetic waves and uh, a matter which occurs uh, and due to that change appears in the vibrations so we have to learn the molecular vibration in a ir process the quantum mechanical energy levels are observed in a ir so those of the molecular vibrations will be taken here actually uh, we have pursue the heat as vibrations okay uh, in the hot uh, surface area if you look there is a vapor circle going out and you observe that uh, vibrations are present there when we say a covalent bond is present between the two atom and they are having the certain uh, length is there like this one this is a covalent bond present between the two atom and uh, uh, with specific length is there and as uh, our sighting and average because the bond behaves as if Uh, they are were and vibrating as a spring and connecting to each others and when if you look this uh, molecules present here and uh, which is going to uh, show an oscillating spring because the covalent bond we say it is uh, not a rigid it is a somewhat elastic and uh, a molecule can be said to be resemble a system of a ball of the different masses which is connected to each other and uh, there is a spring uh, we can stretch or we can compress that means uh, the image this imagination it is going to help the explaining interaction present between the ir radiation of an a organic molecule a molecule is constantly vibrating Uh, or contract uh, stretching the bond or contracting bond or the bending its bond with respect to each others and due to that we got the different type of vibrations the vibrations main molecular vibrations are divided into the two type as we said earlier that is molecular and uh, the fundamental vibration and non fundamental vibrations this fundamental means vibration which appears as a band in a spectrum and second non fundamental means they are appear as a result of fundamental vibrations what i say the vibration which appears as a result of fundamental vibration called non fundamental and those are appear as a band called as a fundamental vibration now we will come for the fundamental fundamental vibration divided into two type that is stretching vibration the stretching vibration involves a continuous change in the interatomic distance along the axis of the bond between two atoms that i already said if you take on the two atoms and if you are going to stretch them that means two atom are joined with a spring if you stretch or we compress that is called as the stretching vibration it requires more energy and uh, so it is going to appear at a short wavelength 
will everyone know more energy less wavelength in the second way that is bending vibrations the change in the bond angle between the two molecules or of the two at uh, sorry two atoms of a molecule the uh, the bond length uh, bond angle will be going to change then such type of vibration are known as a bending vibration and uh, for bending vibration it requires somewhat less energy and due to that it appear at a longer wavelength that means bond length will be change appear at shorter wavelength bond angle will be change appear at the longer wavelength this stretching are further divided into the symmetric and asymmetric stretching in a symmetric stretching the two molecules what happen they are going to stretch in a symmetric way or they are going to compress in a symmetric way okay this is symmetric stretching though both the hydrogen from the carbon they are going to stretch out with a same distance okay like this is look this one this is symmetric stretch after they are appear with the same bond length and the moment of the atom it is the with respect to the your center atom and they are present within the same direction while in asymmetric uh, the molecules which are stretch in alternate or in opposite direction so that uh, bond length will be a uh, different look this one asymmetric one is having more bond length and some second one is having the somewhat less bond length either why it is so because one is one is going to stretch and one is going to compress and due to that it is called as a asymmetric stretching vibration will be there now in the bending there are two main in the plane bending that means if you are going to uh, change a bond angle all the atoms are present in the same plane then it called as in plane bending and if the atom are going to change the plane one atom within one plane and second atom within a another plane then it is called as the out of plane bending okay look the detail in plane uh, if you look the molecules are going to do a change this molecule are going to bend inward this is also going to bend inward that means bond angle between these two will be going to decreases when both are come closer then such type of bending they are present within a plane that means they are not going to change the plane bond length will be remain constant but only bond angle is going to change such type of in plane bending is known as a scissoring it is known as a scissoring while in a rocking they are changing within the same directions okay in a scissoring they are changing in a opposite direction in rocking they are changing in a same direction but bond angle is going to change here okay but that is not going to symmetrically change okay one is going to change slowly one is going to change fastly so bond angle decreases this is happen within a plane then is called as the rocking secondly there may be possibility of increase in bond angle no matter secondly out of plane that means one both are going to come towards you from the plane with a unequal bond angle then it is called as a wagging and one is going out away from you and one is comes towards you that means from the center of the plane or plane one plane the molecules will be going to go you know two opposite sides that means they are changing their plane and they goes to the second plane these are called as wagging and twisting in the plane bending two molecule approach each other in the uh, that is called as scissoring 
if the movement of the atom takes place in the same direction you know as a rocking out of plane the atoms are going to move up and down within a in the plane with respect to the central atom then it's called as a wagging and uh, one of the atom moves up in the plane while the another mat of atom is going to move downs uh, with the plane with respect to plane of the central atom is known as a twisting and in the now air spectroscopic process as a covalent bond is going to oscillate due to oscillating of the dipole moment and uh, there is a firing electromagnetic field is going to produce this is the firing electromagnetic field uh, when due to this oscillations present in the molecule and due to the uh, this uh, electromagnetic uh, firing electromagnetic field is going to produce uh, due to these vibrations and these vibrations are due to the a dipole moment the greater the dipole moment uh, we observe that more intense of the electromagnetic field is generated and now we have to look for the non fundamental vibrations these vibrations are of three main things that is overton these are are actually a consequence of the fundamental vibrations the observed at toys the frequency of stronger bond and uh, overtones are due to the carbonyl compound they having the two frequencies for the carbonyl compound second combination tones uh, the weak band that appear occasionally at frequencies that are some or difference of the two or more fundamental bands these are the deep simply a band gap we say uh, present between the two fundamental bands will be there and the fermi resonance are the interaction between the fundamental vibration and the overtones or combination tones will be there like the co2 molecule these are the three main important non fundamental vibrations what happened here in a spectroscopic process actually wave uh, of the infrared encounters to the oscillating electromagnetic field which is going to generate a dipole moment of the same frequency and uh, it going to give a uh, same wave and ir will be going to absorb and uh, the they are going to couple with each other so okay look this one ir beam from the spectrophotometer this electromagnetic radiation and uh, due to this dipole moment change in the dipole moment electromagnetic oscillating waves uh, in the form of the vibrations and they are going to couple and due to they are going to couple there is a overtones will be observed or fermi resonance will be observed and we know there is a simple characteristics for the vibrational frequencies uh, the bonds are not a rigid they are behave like the string or they have said that uh, due to the uh, they have a different mass at either ends and due to uh, its obey a hooke's law that is f is equal to minus kx the minus sign is a motion in the negative side second thing uh, this is going to uh, give the characteristics frequency for the vibration mu is equal to 1 upon 2 pi in square bracket Uh, in square root of uh, k divided by reduced mass, and the reduced mass is we are going to calculate uh, by simple formula m on m two divided by m one plus m two. Actually, this m one and m two are the masses of the atom in a gram, and the k small k is the force constant of the bond for a single bond. It is approximately five into ten raised to five gram per second uh, square. Uh, it is becomes double bond and triple bond respectively uh, when the c is the velocity of the radiations and all of you know velocity of the radiations will be uh, nearly 3 into 10 raised to uh, minus 3 sec the frequency is going to actually affected by the different factors uh, masses of the atom and strength of the bond lower the mass the higher the molecular vibration or the stretching frequency and due to that we say carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen 
the lower the mass higher the vibrational frequency hydrogen is having lower mass more frequency is there carbon is somewhat having less uh, higher mass less vibrational frequency nitrogen uh, as compared to carbon more mass uh, then less frequency and oxygen is somewhat more mass less frequency that means ch is having the more stretching frequency than cc bond or than cn bond and then co bond second thing stronger the bond the higher the vibrational frequency as triple bond is the stronger which is having higher frequency than double bond than single bond okay we observe for carbon nitrogen or the carbon carbon second thing for the hybridization the ch bond is stronger of the sp hybridizations that is triple bond than sp2 than sp3 these are the we say we can do the conclusion then important is about the degree of freedom the fundamental vibration of the molecules depends upon degree of freedom each atom has 3d degree of the freedoms on x y and z plane uh, the molecules is going to containing n number of atom so it has 3n degree of freedom where n is the number of atom and we are going to calculate 3n degree of the freedom is a mixture or sum of the translational rotational and vibrational frequencies molecule always has three uh, translational degree of the freedom uh, rotation of the molecule is about uh, the x y z through a center of gravity and so we are going to calculate uh, only vibrational uh, degree of the freedom we are not going to consider the 3n degree that means translational and rotational now we find for the linear molecule any two degree of the rotations uh, presently on x y axis only by using a simple formula if molecule is a linear we use a formula 3n minus 5 uh, for a fundamental vibrations total degree is 3n and translational degree of the freedom is 3 okay and uh, rotational degree of the freedom is 2 and uh, so we are going to uh, reduce this translational degree of the freedom and rotational degree of the freedom so vibrational degree of freedom become 3n minus 5 okay uh, you may have seen the formula but you must have to understand why we are reducing the 5 and for non-linear molecule 3 degree of the freedom represent rotational and translational motions okay and uh, for non-linear we have the formula 3n minus 6 degree of the freedom actually 3n and rotational degree are 3 and rotational uh, translational degree are 3 and rotational are also 3 in the region of x y and z so vibrational degree becomes 3n minus 3 minus 3 that is total 3n minus 6 look the simple example of a linear molecule that is called as a carbon dioxide co2 molecule actually it is not a linear uh, it is looking linear but it is not linear due to the uh, vibrations so you can calculate uh, actually it is symmetric uh, stretching will be there then it is inactive but it has the anti-symmetric stretch so it is active and it observe uh, frequency will be 2350 cm inverse and um, which is going to degenerate the two rotational degree of freedom in x uh, z and x y axis will be there so degree of freedom actually we can calculate uh, 3n n uh, is the three more atom are there so it is 3 into 3 9 and translational are 3 and rotational 2 that means we have to reduce 5 so it is become 4 that means it has the 4 degree of vibrational modes okay and these are given here 4 degree of vibrational modes and uh, we look another one example and uh, stuff here non-linear molecule that is outer molecule it's necessary for everyone and uh, there is a water molecule again three atoms are there so 3 into 3 is 9 uh, it is non-linear so translation are 3 rotation are 3 we are reducing 6 we got the three uh, fundamental bonds of the infrared spectrum present in water 
what are these three that's anti symmetric symmetric and sorry these are the three main uh, fundamental bonds will be observed and now oh, there is a one problem for you for a benzene molecule it is a non linear molecule calculate degree of freedom as we know the degree of the freedom is uh, 3 into 12 as a molecule benzene has a 12 atoms and it's got 36 and we have to reduce 3 and 3 how much you there okay do the calculation in your notebook thank you we'll meet in the next lecture